I'm in a secret Victorian culvert that runs underneath the bustling city of Sheffield. If you hear any loud noises during this, that's because there's an actual active train station running above my head. And what I found here are some stalactites. Stalactites are a type of speleothem, and speleothems are natural cave formations made of calcite. However, this is not what it seems. Technically, because these are not formed naturally in a cave, they cannot be called speleothems, but rather a specialist term, calcite. The root word speleo suggests the word cave in ancient Greek, and we are in no cave. But calf stems from the word lime, so it's more fitting here. These stalactites are formed in a very similar way than to caves and are common under most bridges, actually, and man-made structures. Rain droplets pick up carbon dioxide in the air, which become slightly acidic to the limestone in the concrete. It then picks up the calcite mineral and it, fi it finds within the concrete and it runs through that limestone. Once again, our mineral is in the water and the droplets find their way to the bottom of these stalactites. When the droplets form, the carbon dioxide evaporates into the air, leaving small amounts of deposited calcite onto the stalactites, bit by bit over the years. And it's creating these. They're called straws because of the obvious reasons, and they're found all over the world in parking lots, under bridges and under cities where I am today. There is an argument that stalactites in man-made environments are actually growing quicker than in cave environments, which is fantastic research, actually. And there is a paper I'll link to the bottom if you're interested to find out more. But for the meantime, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.